Yo guys, what is up? Tominator here, and this time I wanted to go through the comparisons because this is really where the rubber meets the road. This is where these guys put their money where their mouth is and show us what they got because, you know, when they stand next to each other and get directly compared, that's the only real way that we can accurately evaluate who's going to win and who's going to place where, etc. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go through the top callout and really break it down, especially this comparison between Phil and Sean Roden because a lot of people think that Sean is winning. Apparently, you know, there's been insinuations that Sean's actually ahead after prejudging on the scorecards, which I find um, very difficult to fathom, and we'll see why as we go through these poses, I think. Um, so I, I did hear a, a little snippet where Sean Ray, who was doing some of the commentating, um, was mentioning that he thinks Sean Roden was, was taking this one, the front double bicep against Phil. And, you know, I can kind of see where he's coming from. I can see the argument for it because, of course, Sean does have a better silhouette. He's got a better outline. I mean, if you trace around you know the outline of his physique it's much prettier than Phil's he's got better structure in that sense um, but when we look closer at the individual muscles when we look at the quality of the muscle the definition the detail the muscle maturity it's clear that Phil comes out on top I mean just look at the arms look at the discrepancy here look how much more detail Phil's have compared to rodents I mean it's just not even close I think Phil's also slightly better in the shoulders and pecs so uh, you know that's very uh, nitpicky it's hard to say um, through the lats, though, certainly, he's got he's got more size there. Um, midsection, of course, goes to Roden, and that's going to be a common theme in this uh, pre-judging call-out. Uh, we, we kind of all know the deal there. Phil's uh, always had a weak uh, set of abs, so, you know, what do you expect? And he, he's not as streamlined through the obliques, so his, his flow's not as good as Roden's. We get that. But, you know, downstairs, um, people are saying that Sean's quads are better than Phil's, and I just don't really see that. I mean, I, I, I think you could say that they have a better shape. Sure, you know, they've got better sweep in certain poses, um, but Phil's are, are clearly a little bit bigger, you know, side to side. They just have more girth. Um, in terms of the graininess, in terms of the vascularity, he's got him beat. We can see the veins here through the upper quadriceps. Um, when we go below the knee, I think Phil's got better calves for what it's worth. So. I mean, I, I really am not convinced that Sean Roden's winning this front double bicep even. Um, personally, I would probably go with Phil um, just for the for the added detail. But, I mean, sure, let's give it to Sean for the sake of argument, whatever. Um, so here's another look. Um, so now we have Brandon Curry in the mix. And holy cow, man, Brandon's standing right next to Roley and matching him size-wise through the arms pretty much, which is just insane because we all know Roley's got some of the biggest and best guns in the business. Um, but... You know, Curry's kind of got a little bit of an asymmetry thing going on here where the right arm looks noticeably bigger than the left, a la Dexter Jackson. Uh, but other than that, I think he looks amazing in this pose. You know, he's really wide through the lats. Um, he's got the best V taper uh, in this picture. Downstairs, you know, he could use a little more separation through the quads. You know, his calves are lagging. Um, but, you know, Roley didn't really come in as ripped as we've seen him before. So I think that's where he kind of slipped up. Uh, otherwise, I think Roley could be the one challenging Phil uh, more than Sean here. Um, but yeah, once again, I mean, you know, it's it's kind of apples and oranges. I think Sean's got the more pleasing physique, the prettier physique. But I think that what the judges are looking for is is that detail and that that muscle density, that muscle maturity. And I think Phil has more of that. So I think he's a little bit leaner than Sean. In the front lat spread, uh, here's another weak pose for Phil. He's often been criticized over the years, and in my opinion, this is his worst pose, the front lat spread, because we all know he's just very narrow upstairs. He's got those uh, very narrow clavicles, which makes him look kind of scrunched, despite his lats being actually pretty wide. Uh, it makes his chest look very narrow, so he just doesn't look good in it. Never has. Then again, um, in Sean Roden's case, I think his, his pecs look actually kind of crappy as well. Um, they don't look nearly as thick as Phil's, and they look a little bit shallow. They look a little small. But, you know, again, it is a front lat spread, not a front pec spread. Um, so in, in that regard, I think Roden's got a, a better V taper than Phil. Um, not by much, but still. And I think he's got better quad sweep. So I would definitely go with Roden in this one over Phil Heath. Um, can't really get a, a fair assessment of Roley because he's standing at an off angle. And Big Ramy, of course, is a behemoth in this one. I think that he's probably the best bodybuilder structure-wise in the front lat spread today. But uh, unfortunately, you know, as we all know, his conditioning wasn't quite where it needed to be last night. And so he's kind of uh, on the outside looking in. He's not really a factor in this top comparison, so I'm not really going to talk too much about him. 
in these side chest. Um, this is a uh, one shot where I think a lot of people were saying Rodin is beating Phil, and I'm not so sure about that. I mean, downstairs, certainly, he is actually beating Phil. I mean, he's got sharper definition here. He's got a better glute ham tie-in. You can see that really nice deep split between his quads and his hams. And this is an area that where Phil typically owns people in the past, but this year he wasn't quite as sharp as usual. So I think he falters a little bit, and I do think Rodin overtakes him in the lower body. However, when we go upstairs, it's a different story altogether. I think Phil is still beating him handily in the upper body. I mean, I think his pecs are thicker. They have a little bit more detail. Through the arms and shoulders, I think he's better. Uh, although Ronan's shoulder looks pretty good, but uh, arm-wise, and just in, and look at the far arm, though. I mean, that's, that's no comparison. Um, through the midsection, I think they're, they're equally good. You know, Phil's kind of hiding his his uh, crappier abs, and, and as is Rodin, so it's not really as much of a factor, but we can still see good definition from both of them um, through through the midsection. So, um, But I still think that, that Phil's just thicker and bigger upstairs uh, than Rodin. So I don't know. Overall, I would probably still go with Phil on this one, even though Rodin's better in the lower body. You know, it's, it's a side chest, not a side leg. So um, Roly, I think, looks spectacular. Um, he's one of my personal favorites in the side chest. Maybe that's just me. Um, you know, certainly his, his pecs could be a little thicker, but then again, they might look shallow just because he's standing in between two of the guys with two of the best sets of pecs in the business right now, the biggest and best with, with big Rami. Look how full and immense they, they look, man. But again, with Rami, conditioning's not on point. Although downstairs, I think even he's better than Phil, arguably. Um, not even arguably. In this shot, he's better than Phil. Um, we'd have to see more uh, different angles and such, but... In this one still here, uh, he's better than Phil downstairs too, but upper body wise, it's no contest again. Uh, Roly, you know, he's, he's just slightly off, you know, and, and it's, I, I think if he was 100% on, he'd actually be winning this shot, but they all look pretty good in the side chest. Moving on, back double bicep. This is where things kind of, um, you know, fall apart for Rodin here. I, I, I really do think he kind of gets owned when they turn around. I mean, Phil's smoking him in the back right now. Uh, it's just not even close. Like the, the level of density, the level of thickness, the level of detail, all goes to Phil. Downstairs even, he's a little more dialed in. You know, hamstrings and glutes are, are more ripped, showing more detail. Even calves are arguably a little bit better because rodents are a bit high. Um, but yeah, through the back, it's no contest. Phil's lats are just much better developed. Um, you know, they insert lower. So Rodin's lower back looks kind of weak, and again, that's it's just like Roly. It's kind of no fault of his own. It's just the way his, his lat insertions work. So, um, you know, it is what it is, though. I mean, guys like Bonac and Phil who have lower lats, their back double biceps tend to look better because of that. Um, and through the arms, I think, you know, Phil's whooping everybody, especially when we look at the forearms, man. Uh, other than Roly, he's smoking everybody in that aspect. Um, so Roly, you know, has looked better in previous shows. His last few shows, I think, he was um, more shredded. So even though he never has had a very good lower back in this one, uh, his upper back kind of made up for it. But here he's not quite as sharp and in the lower body as well. So I would probably have it like Phil, number one, Bonac, number two, uh, then Rodin, then Roly. But, um, you know, it's, it's actually kind of close between these two, I think, because Roly's got better arms. He's got a little more, well, quite a bit more mass than Rodin. So, I mean... But Rodin's got, um, you know, a better shape probably and, and definitely a better lower body than Roly here. So take your pick there, but he's definitely not beating Phil in this one, that's for sure. Here's another uh, angle with um, Brandon Curry added into the mix. And now I think Rodin is actually last in the back double bicep. Again, I think his lower body smokes Curry's, but this is a back double bicep. And I feel like more emphasis should go to the upper body, the back and the biceps. So in that regard, um, Curry, I think, is beating him. Um, he, he's just thicker, he's bigger, he's wider. So, I mean, what more is there to say? Uh, Conditioning-wise, he's pretty much right there in the upper body with Rodin. So I still think it goes Phil, then Bonac, then probably Curry and Rodin. I mean, you could put Rodin ahead just for the lower body, but once again, not beating Phil. In the rear lat spread, um, so this is one where I think Rodin's looked much better in the past. Uh, so I recently, well, not that recently, but... A few months back, I reviewed the uh, 2014 Arnold Classic where I was commenting that Rodin's rear lat spread looked amazing. He had an incredible V-taper in that show. And here, 
very lackluster. It looks very subpar. Um, so I'm not sure what happened. It could just be that he wasn't fully set in the pose when the pick was snapped. But I looked at other picks, man, and he's the same way in all of them. He's just not showing a, a good taper at all. And he doesn't have the detail or the thickness to make up for that. So I think he's clearly last in this one right here. Um, again, lower body's better than than uh, Curry's, but it doesn't matter because Curry's back looks so much better than Rodin's, okay? So I think it goes Phil, probably Bonac just for the completeness because downstairs he's he's better than Curry, then Curry, then, then Rodin. Um, so here's another shot, just in case you don't believe me, about Rodin's taper not really looking that spectacular anymore, and he also looks flat as a pancake standing next to Phil. I mean, Phil's just whooping him from the back, so I don't know how people are saying that Rodin's going to knock off the champ when Phil is smoking him in the back poses, man. Haven't you guys heard the expression, Olympias are won from the back? So how is Rodin going to beat him? It just doesn't stand to reason. This is basically, I think, um, another case of Jay Cutler 2001, where a guy comes out looking much better and way more conditioned than anybody thought he would, and you know pushes the champ and even beats him in, in some of the front poses but when they turn around it was, it was just lights out game over and that's what's happening here so I don't see Rodin winning for this reason alone because you know from the front you know he probably is beating Phil in in the two front or the the, the three front poses um, uh, I haven't got to the most muscular yet but we'll talk about that um, yeah, but and from the side, it's very close, and from the back, Phil just owns them. So I think that when you add Rolly Winkler into this mix in the rear lat spread, um, you know, Roden comes in last again because I, I like Bonac and Rolly. Rolly's uh, probably got the, the best back here. He's showing lots of thickness and detail now. Uh, definitely the lower back looks better than it did in the back double bicep for him for some strange reason. It's just the way his body works. Um, but now it looks very thick and well-developed. And, you know, you could even make a case for him potentially beating Phil, but I wouldn't just because of the conditioning aspect. Once again, Phil is leaner, he's tighter, you can see that downstairs, he's got the best conditioning of this lot. And that's another thing, I hear people saying that uh, Rodin's conditioning was so much better than Phil's, and Phil was way off. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing here? I mean, Phil's better than Rodin when it comes to the conditioning right here in this shot anyway, from the back. Uh, he, he's definitely tighter, he's definitely leaner. So, I don't know what you guys are looking at. In the side tricep, um, once again, I would go with Phil here. Uh, so Rodin's abs are like a million times better than, than Phil's. That goes without saying. But other than the midsection, I think everything goes to Phil here in this pose. I like his shoulders more. I like uh, his leg more. I think he's presenting it in a more favorable light, showing more detail. Whereas Rodin, he's kind of at a weird angle. And triceps, I mean, are not even close. Phil is miles ahead in that department. And last time I checked, this was a side tricep pose, not a side mid or a side abdominal pose. So, you know, Phil's winning this. Actually, though, I, I personally like uh, William Bonac the most in the side tricep. I've said it before that I just love the way he hits this one. Um, but after that, you know, I think Phil's right there. I think these guys are neck and neck, and, and Rodin is is clearly lagging behind. Uh, Rolly Winkler is a guy who should be running away with the side tricep because we all know he's got probably the biggest and best triceps ever right but for some reason he just he, he doesn't present himself well it's it's like he he's too big now to even clasp his his hand properly and hit the pose in the conventional conventional fashion like what phil and bonac are doing i don't know but it just doesn't really do it for me in the avon thigh now now this is one where obviously rodin's taking it i mean he's taking phil to school he's he's just whooping him in this ab abdominal and thigh it's not close um, so yeah, you, you can give him one there easily. I mean, this is as, as, as much of a, uh, discrepancy here, as much of a blowout as the back double bicep was, um, in, in Phil's case. So, you know, th this is just, it's, it's too chunky. He's not streamlined through the abdominals and they look all messy. Um, downstairs though, it is close. I think it's closer than people are giving Phil credit for, but you know, it's an ab and thigh. So abs are heavily weighted here and, and Rodin's just whooping him there. In the most muscular, though, uh, I think Phil comes back with a bit of a vengeance. I think that he's, he's still too much for Rodin to handle because his arms are just on another level, okay? I mean, it, Rodin's arms look good in certain poses, like, like the front double bicep, but when we get into poses like the crab or the hands clasped, 
uh, you know, Phil's roundness, his thickness just kind of prevails. It overpowers Rodin and the brachial radialis, the forearms. Are you kidding me? It's not even close now. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how people can say Rodin's winning the most muscular over Heath. And here's a different version. We got Phil and the Crab. Rodin fares a bit better, I think, in the hands on hip now. Uh, this is closer, but I still think in terms of the overall muscularity, uh, you probably got to give this one to Phil. He, he's just got a little more density, more thickness. Um, you know, Rodin might have a more pleasing shape and structure, depending on your point of view, depending on your personal, personal preferences, but uh, I don't think the judges really take that into consideration as much as a lot of us, uh, you know, common fans do. They seem to be more, uh, they, they, they seem to place more emphasis on just the overall muscularity, the conditioning, the muscle maturity, the definition, the details, and less on how pleasing does this physique look to the common spectator, okay? Less importance on overall aesthetics and shape and, and all that sort of stuff that a lot of us really uh, wish they would pay attention to, but it is what it is, guys. So I think that that's why Phil is going to prevail here. I think it's pretty clear in these mandatory comparisons who's coming out on top between him and Rodin. So that's why I, was, I said in my last video that I don't think it's that close. I think Phil's got this one in the bag. And I would be downright shocked if Rodin pulled off the upset and ended up clinching his first Mr. Olympia title and denying Phil his record-tying eighth Sandow. So that's what it is, guys. Thank you for listening to my ramblings, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, so I've got more to come. Uh, stay tuned for all that. But until next time, I'm the Tominator signing off, and I'll be back.